The Watchtower claims that ex Jehovah Witnesses are mentally ill, so they put fear into Jehovah Witnesses from stopping them from speaking to them with the shunning. So when coming out of Jehovah Witnesses one's mind is controlled takes time to come out the emotions are at a point where they're vulnerable and just like there are ministers that say that it's God's will for them to have aeroplanes and nice houses and that the people will prosper if they give the money to the churches it doesn't say anything about prospering and giving money to vulnerable people they need to be educated and helped but they have to help themselves they can only be given support anyone in my opinion that asks for money helping Jehovah Witnesses there must be something wrong because we know how the time consuming it is to come out our emotions are at a high low it is easy then for people to try to control our minds we're there to educate people about watchtower doctrines and we all use our own cameras our own products that we've brought and by asking Jehovah Witnesses for money is wrong especially when their emotions have already been controlled by the watchtower that is asking them for money when they're in the watchtower when Russell Rudford said Russell said about when asking for money it would not be an organization not giving the proper quote but the person you can talk about in this picture should not be asking for money he should not be causing disunity against seven people that have heard whatever he has said live on YouTube confessing to things that he has said causing problems with ex Jehovah Witnesses for damages for things that he said not what they said they have not done anything to cause problems to him they are his rivals on YouTube anybody puts a question in his page and disagrees with him he blocks them out this has become a money-making organization and anyone that's in a money money organization helping vulnerable people is wrong because you're trying to control their emotions and I just say leave the seven people alone some witnesses say why are you still going on about it because these Jehovah Witness, ex Jehovah Witnesses, Mike and Kim, Mike, Mark and Cora, Kimmy and the others, I bless, forgive me, I cannot remember their names, have not done anything wrong. This is exactly what the Watchtower wants. And it's not helping vulnerable Jehovah Witnesses. If people want to give this man money, that's up to them. But my personal view is it's wrong. Please, John Cedars, leave the seven people alone. 
stop causing disunity within the Jehovah Witness community. Either shut up or go away because you're getting on our nerves and you're acting like you're a religion. You're acting like an apostate. That's all I'm going to say on it. Community. The vulnerable and the emotion of those people coming out of Jehovah Witnesses.